Have you ever felt like the moment you stop doing things, whether it be working out, hanging out with people, going to work, like have you ever felt like the moment you stop doing any of those things, it's like you're falling behind in life? Like if you weren't to do all those things and it's like all of a sudden everyone else is going to get ahead of you and you're just gonna be left behind. I remember having a conversation um, about this with like a mate of mine and we were just talking about how like everyone seems to be in this race that we're all just trying to achieve different things and for some reason everyone's kind of like perspective on the race is somewhat of a variation of feeling like we're behind and I remember reflecting like I do all these different things because I feel like I'm running away from the feeling of falling behind in life. My peers seem to always be ahead in their relationships, financially, in their careers. They always seem to be like just ahead of me. And I'm just here doing my thing and sitting in front of this camera, trying to make sense of this thing that we call life. In this conversation with my mate, we were like literally talking about how most of us, we distract ourselves. Like we either busy ourselves with like all these different things that we end up doing, or even like just distract and like escape, whether it be via like partying or like just ignoring all the things that we should probably be paying attention to. Doing all these things isn't wrong, whether it be partying, whether it be you know, hanging out with friends or like busying yourself with like a whole bunch of random things. Doing any of these things isn't wrong, but I think if we're doing it for the reason that we're just trying to escape this feeling of feeling like we're falling behind, then I think there's something that we can look at. Because I truly think that if we have this feeling that we're living a life that is not our own, we're trying to win a rat race that wasn't even our race to begin with. I think we feel like this for a number of reasons. And I think there's three reasons in particular. And so that's what I wanna share with you. First thing is we have this belief that what other people think about us matters. Have you heard this before? If you don't get that job or you don't do that course, you're not good enough. This was not a rare thing for me to hear, especially growing up in an ethnic household. And to be honest, it's like easy to listen to it, especially when you're surrounded by that mentality day in and day out. In fact, it's even easier to choose to do that, especially, right, if you haven't really asked yourself the question, what do I wanna do? Like, because we don't have an answer to that, it's almost like we just fall straight into our conditioning, what we know, and then we just listen to other people and follow what they think is right for us. If we don't think about it, then the decision's going to be made for us. Second thing is you're comparing your life to other people. Just because you went to high school or university or like just because that person is a family member, all of a sudden, their timeline is your timeline. And once again, it's easy to fall into this because, you know, that's all we know. And I think this is actually okay because more often than not, if you're not doing anything, then like Idle Minds Devil's Workshop, right? You end up doing all the stuff that you shouldn't be doing. But at least this way, if you have someone else's timeline to follow, at least you're moving somewhat along the way. But I think you definitely have to get to a point where it's like, you know, you've got to really start questioning whether or not you're living your life or you're living someone else's. And so we've got to step up and really think about, well, what's our timeline? Like, what is it that we want to do? What is it that we want to achieve? And when do we want to achieve it by? And the third thing here is personal expectations. I wonder whether you will ever be enough for other people. And more importantly, whether you will ever be enough for yourself. The goals that we set ourselves, inspiring and amazing as it might be in the moment, and the feeling is so great and so good. If we don't achieve it though, like if we try really hard and we don't get it, Will we be enough? Goals are personal expectations. All these other random things are personal expectations. Like whether we feel like you know, we have to be a certain way, we have to achieve this by this age, like whatever it is, like put so much pressure on ourselves to get particular grades or like get particular scores or be successful in this particular area. Like we put so many expectations on ourselves. And really all together, the three things that I just shared with you, all of these are just expectations. It's just either someone else's or your own. And so what the hell do you do? Like, what do you do with all these things? And like, I just wanna leave you with three questions. And if you do these three questions, if you really take the time to just sit aside and with a notebook and just write a few things that come to mind about this and you do it consistently, then hopefully, hopefully we get more clarity and hopefully you can just understand a little bit more about yourself and really and truly start living life on your own terms instead of someone else's. And in a way that you truly want to, in a way that's like truly meaningful and inspiring to you.
I want you to answer these three questions. What do you want? What will make you happy? How far have you come? Focus on slowing down and answering these questions. I know for me, they've helped me develop my self-confidence so I can navigate my life powerfully. So hopefully they can do the same for you and also bring your soul some peace. Because if you honestly think about it and you take the time to really think and dive deep, you've done pretty well. But now it's time to do well differently. I will see you in the next video. Bye.